You have fallen out of love with your current home. You can't find a model home that you like, so you're ready to take the plunge and have a custom home built. But how do you go from this to this? On FYH Today, we have all your answers. For Your Home is made possible by... Anderson Hardwood, committed to producing distinctive, environmentally responsible hardwood flooring while helping to create a better planet for today and tomorrow. For more information, go to andersonfloors.com. Anderson, naturally. And by Ames. Ames True Timber has offered innovative landscape products since 1774, providing non-powered lawn and garden tools, wheelbarrows and lawn carts, watering products and decorative accessories, including planters. And by Custom Home Furnishings Academy, where the professionals learn to sew window treatments. so excited to share this next project with you. We are going to show you over the next nine FYH shows how to build your own custom home. Hi, I'm Vicki Payne and I'm going to be your host on this adventure. And if you're a regular viewer of For Your Home, you might recognize this guy. This is Eric Johnson. How are you doing today, Eric? Good. I'm looking forward to working with you again. You're ready to do it all over again. Now, last season, we partnered with Eric and we built the dream home for the Susan G. Coleman Charlotte Affiliate Association and had a great experience doing that. So we said this year, let's build for the cure Absolutely. from the ground up. And I'm excited about it because someday I want to build my own custom home. So I'm going to be just like you, asking all kinds of questions as we go along and learning. Let's start off first of all, Eric, you can't build a house without a builder. That's right. And how do you pick the right one? Well, I think you should talk to people that have had a great experience building custom homes before. Um, that could be talking to a real estate professional. In this community, there's a lot of people that are building or have built. Um, have they had a good experience? Talk to them. Just kind of walk through the neighborhood Absolutely. and chat with them. Yep. Okay. Now, once you've narrowed it down to say, okay, these are the four builders that I'm interested in talking with, what should I, as the new home builder, be looking for when I sit down in that mini meeting? The relationship. Okay. Make sure that you like the person that you're talking to across the street. Make sure that they share your vision for the project, that they're wanting to see all the pictures that you've brought and magazine uh, clippings that you've brought in and stuff like that, and that they're listening to what you want, not just what they want to build for you. And kind of getting real passion for that project. Absolutely. Okay, because, you know, you've, you've talked about it like being a marriage sometime between a builder and the homeowner. It is, where everything up front is all hunky-dory and lovey-dovey and all that, but sooner or later there's going to be a little bump in the road, and the two of you are going to have to work together to resolve that. So we take steps in our process to make sure that we spell out everything that's going in the house, the sticks and bricks, the electrical, the HVAC, what kind am I using, what kind of shiggles am I using, but the emotional side too, mm -hmm. that we put all that in there to ease your mind at the same time, so you're, you know that we always have your best interest at heart. All right, so now that you've got your house decided and you've got your builder in place, what do you do about where you're going to build that house? Well, let's say we've selected a community that we want to build in. Uh -huh. um, we would like that customer to kind of pick out two or three lots that they're interested in, tell mm -hmm. us the reasons why, and, um, and then we'll narrow it down to one. Then on that one, we want to look at all the local jurisdictions, neighborhood jurisdictions. We want to look at topography. And then we want to look at that special thing that they wanted in the lot, like the 200-year-old oak tree that we want to make like sure that we... you're not going to bulldoze down when absolutely. you put the house on the right spot? And we want to make sure that that can sit. And we had that consideration here. Uh -huh. And that's where we arrived here 
uh, how we put the house in this location. Well, I noticed when I was reading your book, you were talking about the seven places that you really want to put your money in a new house. And one of the number one you said was location, location, location. Yes. There's a reason why that is the number one mantra in real estate. Get the best possible lot that you can. You can't change it. Okay, well, we have three really important team members that we've put together for this project to bring this custom job to you. And that is, of course, Eric, our builder, and myself as the interior designer. And then our third part is our residential designer. And that's the person who's really going to help take or give life to these ideas that the Excellent. homeowner wants to see it happen. So I'm going to take off and go meet with Trish and introduce her to the audience. And let's look to me if you're a builder. Get some hammers going back there, Eric. Right? Got some work to do. Okay. Thanks. Good to see good you. Good to see you too. You know, I love this house. I saw it when it was on tour. It was one of my favorites. Thank you so much. We had so much fun with this house. We really pushed the envelope and I think it turned out great. Well, it did a great, you just did a great job Thank on it. Thank you. Now, Trisha is a real important team player on our project. She makes up our three buddy systems. We have the builder, we have the interior designer, moi, and we have the residential designer. And Trisha has designed hundreds of homes in Charlotte. Many of them are award winning and they're in shows, houses all over the city. It's gonna be a lot of fun working together on this project. It is, it yeah. is, I'm looking forward to it. Now, when a client comes to you and says, design a house for me, mm -hmm. what do they bring to the table? What is that very first meeting like? What I ask of the client at that meeting, because that is the most fun we can have, I mean, that's the exciting part, I ask them to just come with their dreams and throw everything on the table, and at that point, that's when we really talk about how they live their lives. You know, how are you, How do you function on a day-to-day -day basis? How many people live in, in the your house? Mm -hmm, as your family. And why is that important, there, how they function in their lifestyle? Because that helps me understand room placement. It helps me understand the rooms that need a little more attention, you know, depending uh -huh. on if they're big entertainers, if they're big cooks, if they oh, work yeah. out of the house. Uh -huh. So you by talking with them, you can get all of those kind of clues so that when you start to put it together, it really is a house that's being custom built for them. Absolutely, absolutely. And so when they come back to see the plans, are they surprised by what you've done? You know, a lot of times when, what I'm doing is I'm picking up on body language, I'm picking up on things they don't understand that they're saying. Uh -huh. And when I come back to them, it is so much fun when I unroll that drawing the first time. And a lot of times, they don't even expect what I'm about to show them. And they say, it. you know, we never in a million years would have thought this is our house, but we well, love it. Well, I kind of had that feeling when I saw the design draw <laughs> roll out for the house that we're building together, and it's just going to be so perfect. That's great. Now, when you talk and you work with your clients, you know, and, and you're trying to put everything together, mm -hmm. they've already met with their builder, mm -hmm. and in a lot of cases, they've already picked up the neighborhood that they're going to have the house built in. Mm -hmm. They, they have. Usually they do come to me with a builder and a lot already okay. picked out, which is very important because lot plays such a big role oh, in the yeah. home design. Um, you know, topo, topo, you know, if we're falling, um, you know, wooded trees, um, setbacks, and neighborhoods actually play a tremendous I role. I bet they do, because there's certain materials you can and can't use, and there's so many different variables there. Exactly, exactly. So once you have your, your plan, you have your neighborhood, and, and you've done so many houses, I'm sure you're starting to, to see this trend that's coming out nowadays in the houses that you're developing. What are some of those? Some of the trends that I'm starting to see with my clients is, you know, we're, we're very busy as yeah, a society. Yeah, we are. We're all too busy. And we're trying to really make our homes a lot more efficient. Uh -huh. And I think what we're trying to do is get a smaller footprint get rid of a lot of the rooms that we don't end up using and really make the space that we we do have a lot more usable. So like the formal dining room or the living room, those kind of things. Yes, we're, we're keeping that space, but we're taking the label right off the plan and we're using it for whatever works for your family. And so that's why getting to know your clients is so important because you can say, this is where you're going to have your home office or this is where you're going to have this space. Absolutely, absolutely. And what we're trying to do now is actually make these rooms that have multi-function 
inside the room. So everyone in the family can be inside the space at once doing different different activities. Okay, like the kitchen enlarging it to be bigger. Kitchen and the great room and you know if if you do need a dining room and a living room we're combining those spaces so that you do use it a lot more. So in like in our house for example we're going to be using them in different ways as well in those spaces and it's wide open and I love that. Mm -hmm. In fact speaking about our house this is a house that Trisha designed and Eric Johnson built and it's actually the first time that I met them was at a show house right here. Mm -hmm. And it's also the muse for the house that we're building together yes, this year. Yes, it is, it is. Now what we did was we used a lot of the traditional details from this house but created a more contemporary home. A little more wide open, and um, but we still have lots of columns, lots of columns, and stonework, stonework and siding. Yes. So really, I'm very typical of what your clients would be when I say I, my viewers and I, because I represent them, of what your clients bring to the flight. We sat down and we looked at it, we made changes, we worked together as a team. Yes, we, you know, Eric brought his thoughts, you brought your ideas, and I, I had mine, and we got them all together, and we are going to have a beautiful house. You know, as I came on board today, I saw we've got a lot of work done. We've really made some advances, and we already have our subfloor in. Mm -hmm. Now, is this treated plywood that we're using on a subfloor? It's a plywood floor, but it's not treated. It actually has a factory applied water repellent coating on the face and the edge to help repel water during the construction phase. So, if it's exposed like this and it should start raining this afternoon, I'm not as concerned as I would be if it was a regular plywood product. That's exactly right. That's a builder benefit to it. You don't get the moisture related issues with this product that you would get with other products. Okay, but as a consumer, what does this mean to me? Well, what's the thing when you walk into a house that you don't like, uh, as far as the floors are concerned? Squeaky floors. Exactly squeaky right. Floors. Because this is a plywood subfloor, you get a quieter, stiffer, firmer feeling floor, uh -huh. and you don't get those squeaks that you see in a lot of other products. And so when you say a firmer floor, that means I'm not going to get any bounce get on the these bounces. long spans like we have that's here. That's exactly right. Okay, well, that's a great thing to know because we want to make sure that as we, you know, enjoy this house over the years, mm -hmm. that we don't have squeaky floors, we've got a good firm foundation, we're going to be putting uh, hardwood floors down here in this main Great part application of the house. for this. Okay, so that'll work really well with it. Excellent. Now, another thing that I always like to do with my viewers is try to save them money when it comes to energy. Sure. And you've got a product out here that's going to help us do that. Let's take we a do. look at Let's it. Let's take a look. You've got a very energy efficient home here. Well, you know, every point along the way, Eric and I want to make sure that we build in as much energy saving as possible for the homeowners. Now, we're in the attic over the top of the garage, and this could get to be pretty hot, especially in the Carolinas. How are you going to help us keep that heat down? What Eric's installed here is a, a radiant barrier that has a foil with a craft back on it laminated to his roof sheathing. So all in one step, it'll go up. Exactly right. Okay, so how does it work? What, the, what it does, it almost works like a mirror. Um, okay. It reflects the sun's radiant heat, up to 79% of that, which can actually cool your attic by about 30 degrees. Wow, you know, that's a dramatic savings when you talk about 30% and reducing that heat, because anytime we reduce the heat, we save money on energy. What we found, depending on the area, you can save up to 17% in your cooling energy consumption. Oh, I love that, I love it. Now. This is on a OSB board? That's correct. Okay. This particular uh, is on an OSB board, but we do make it in a plywood as well. Okay. How is it installed? Installed with the full face down towards the attic. Okay. Just like you would a normal uh, roof sheathing. All right. And this is on OSB, but it also is available in plywood, you it, said? That's, that's exactly correct. Okay. Um, one of the things that I really liked about it is these nail lines that you have on it. You know, having done some construction myself, this is such a time saver. Love Makes it. it very easy for the install. Well, you know, this is really going to help in our attic space throughout this entire house. Let's take a look at some things we're going to do on the outside. Let's go. And what's going on out here? This looks different to me. It is a little bit different, Vicki. Traditionally, builders will install their 
wall sheathing and then come back and wrap the entire uh -huh, house. Exactly. But what we've done is we have laminated a building wrap to the OSB wall sheathing. So it comes this way. That's exactly right. Okay. Now, what about the seams that you have here? The seams, you use a three inch seam tape, which can be applied with a gun and or by hand. Okay, so does that stop the moisture from going in and the air coming out? That's exactly right. That, that's what the product's for. It's for bulk water intrusion and also air filtrate, infiltration. Okay, so it is already protected as soon as it goes up, so we don't have to wait for that process to go on later on. So that's the time saver for the builder. Exactly right. We okay. found that you can save 10 to 12% by doing this. You don't have to wait for an extra crew to get out. It's already ready to go once you get out here, once it's installed, and you tape the seams and you're ready to go. Well, you know what I like about it is the same thing as we were talking about with the flooring, is because now it's not exposed to the elements, so I get a better product when I'm all done with my house. That's exactly right. Okay. Now, the other question I have, though, is in traditional house wrap, we would have extra material that would come around for our window installation to protect this from leaks. What are we going to do here? We supply detailed instructions for the flashing and the installation of the windows. Okay, so it's just as airtight when we get ready to put those windows in. That's right. Okay, well, you know what? I think you've got a great solution here. This is going to save Eric time so he That's can right. get more work done. And while Eric's working, you and I can grab our golf clubs and we can go out on that fairway and play a little golf. What do you think? Sounds good. All right, let's, let's go. go. Things seem to be going really well here at the job site. It is. It's gone really, really quick. It's gone in really, really easy. Our customers happy as can be. So when I met you at the International Building Show last year, you showed me this product that I had to come back and just show it to my client. I said, we're going to achieve a lot of things. We're going to go quicker with the job. I can run duct work and uh, plumbing and electrical through it a lot quicker. Um, easier and then that means that I don't have to drop these ceilings to get all that duct work through. So I solved a lot of problems that we normally would have in a basement house. Now That's what right. else can you tell me more about it? The nice thing about it is it comes to the job site and it's pre-cut. You used to have to bring these products out to your job site um, and trim them, measure them and trim them, which was planning, labor, uh, pretty expensive sure, to do. Sure, we're used to doing okay. that. Okay. What we've done is we've actually engineered the, the product to have the holes pre-cut. Um, it's highly engineered. The, the holes are sized and spaced for the uh, most efficient mechanical uh, access, and the structural integrity of the product isn't affected. The nice thing, like to, to your point, is that you can run your wiring, your plumbing, your, plumbing, your HVAC through an air-conditioned space, making it much more energy efficient. And, and that's where we're going to use that up in the attic, right? That, that's exactly right. The difference with this product is, right now, you're running that stuff in the attic, and it's hot, cold, those temperatures affect the air in that ducting. So it's not very efficient. You actually have to you. recool or reheat that air to air condition or heat your house. So not just here in the basement where it's helping me run everything through and I don't have to drop my ceilings, but I can use it in the attic as well and save energy. That's correct. That's wonderful. We're moving right along with our house. All of our framing has been completed. And our electrical contractor and our plumbers have been here and done all of their rough-in work. Nowadays, everybody is really concerned with energy efficiency and creating a healthy environment within their home. Tim Kennedy's here today, and he's helping us with our install of our insulation. Hey, Tim, how's it going? Doing great. How are you, Vicki? I'm doing good. Tell me about the kind of insulation we're going to use in this house. Vicki, we're installing the next generation of high-performance insulation. It's a renewable product that is a spray foam insulation and air barrier. Now, what makes it better than, say, the previous generation of insulation? It's a good question. It's a high-yield castor oil that is being replaced with a portion of the petroleum polyol, 
which reduces fossil resource use and greenhouse gas generation. Well, now, how much energy are we going to be saving with this product? We will use 60% less energy on heating and 40% less energy on cooling on this home versus the same size house using fiberglass insulation. And those numbers are, are numbers you came up with with your engineering department? Our engineering department took the numbers in and put them in for this particular house. Wow, that's really impressive. You know, I really like to know those numbers. But let's talk about how natural these castor oil products are. Castor oil comes from castor beans, an extremely natural product that can be used in personal care products such as lip balm. Really? Absolutely. The product can be grown on marginal lands so it doesn't compete with food product lands. That's great to know. Also, the product is extremely environmentally friendly as you don't need irrigation or treatment with pesticides or fungicides. It's kind of a wonder ingredient that can be used in spray foam insulation. Wow, you know, it's come a long way since your mom used to give you castor oil to kind of settle an upset stomach. Absolutely. Let's see some of these wonder beans in action. Where are we going to be putting this material? We're going to be putting it in the wall, we're going to do the attic, over the garage and under the rear porch. Okay, and what are some of the other benefits of working with this particular product? We're going to meet the needed R value, but the magic comes in when we spray the foam into the wall and it expands 100 to 1 in a matter of seconds. It, it creates a tiny foam blanket of millions of air cells that are going to fill all cracks and crevices and reduce energy robbing air leakage. And it can go right around the pipes and the wires and everything that we have in our walls. Absolutely. Okay. What are some of the other health benefits of using this product? The product is completely inert. So it does, and it also does not contain any PBDEs, which is a chemical fire retardant. This was very important to the manufacturer as when they were developing the product, PBDEs are now being banned in states and countries all across the world. Okay, well, if we're getting rid of the fire retardant materials, though, what's our fire rating on this material? Still a Class A fire rated product. Okay, that's great to know. Well, you know, Tim, there's a lot of this house to fill in and a lot of cracks and crevices, so I'm going to let you and your guys get on with your job. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Tim. You may think that you have thought of every detail as you plan your new house, but have you taken in consideration the feng shui that your new house may have? Well, our feng shui expert, Steve Kodad, is here, and he's going to give us some tips that you'll end up with a house full of energy. Hey, Steve, how's it going in there? Good, Vicki. How are you doing? Good, good. Now, we're at a house, not the house we're building, but another house in this neighborhood. And right at the front door, how are we doing here for our feng shui? Yeah, we have a challenge right here to start with. Right here, we haven't gotten uh, in yet. Right here. Okay. Where we have these very sharp corners and these columns where, which are called in feng shui poison arrows. Ooh. And they actually create a, a very uncomfortable feeling for your visitors and for your guests. And, and that's we, what feng shui is all about, is creating a comfortable environment within your home. It's all about being a very secure and comfortable environment. Yes. Okay, so we would need to round out those edges, make them a little softer. Right. How could we do that without chiseling away the stone? Right, if you, if you can't put up uh, circular columns at this point, but what you're going to use is possibly plants to actually soften the corners Maybe as much as possible. Maybe some vines or something? Right. You do the same thing even inside, too. You try to soften the corners by using plants or fabric. Well, let's go inside and see how we're doing in there. Okay. Well, Vicki, this is actually one of the most important parts of the house, with the front door being called the mouth of qi and feng shui. The energy comes through here, and in this case, is actually going straight out the back. So we want to make sure that that doesn't happen. We want to make sure we take care of the rooms on the side. How can we fix that in a house that's already existing like All right. this? In a house that's already like this, you could possibly put a circular rug here, which actually pulls the energy and disperses it evenly to okay. the sides. Or you can use 
a manipulation of energy by putting plants on both sides of the Fourier here to create the bumper pool effect also. So it kind of bounces around that good energy. It bounces it around and puts it into a meandering pattern, which okay. is exactly what we want. Now how about our staircase? Is it in a good position? Staircase is in a great place, but uh, the worst situation is if you're like in a colonial where the staircase points straight out the door because uh -huh. the energy goes in and out very quickly. It doesn't have a chance to get to the rest of the house. Well, these are all great points. And so when you're planning your new home or maybe looking around your existing home, put a little cheetah action. You'll be surprised at the energy it brings. I really want to thank my friends for being here today. Without their help and all of these great people, we wouldn't be off to such a perfect start on our custom built home. Now that we have all the prep work out of the way, we are diving in next week to our second building phase. I will be meeting with some more great building experts who are going to advise me on decisions regarding our roofing, windows, stone, and a lot more. So whether you're building your own quarters or getting ideas for a great remodeling project, make sure you join us next time right here on For Your Home. If you would like additional information about today's guests or project ideas, please visit us on the web at foryourhome.com. We will do our best to help you out. For Your Home is made possible by Shaw Floors offers distinctive flooring options to fit a variety of decors. Shaw strives to have a positive impact on the environment by producing recyclable products like Anso Nylon Carpets and Epic Hardwoods. Shaw, where great floors begin. And by Ames. Ames True Temper has offered innovative landscape products since 1774, providing non-powered lawn and garden tools, wheelbarrows and lawn carts, watering products and decorative accessories, including planters. And by Custom Home Furnishings Academy, where the professionals learn to sew window treatments.